In technical drawings, there's a lot of information we need to show, and trying to show all of it can be quite a challenge, especially when all we have to work with is one single pencil. So to solve this problem, a clever drafter came up with the idea of using different types of lines to represent different things on a technical drawing. When we look at a drawing like this, all the different line types can be confusing. How do we know what each one means? Well, here's your crash course in understanding different line types in technical drawings. The simplest type of line that we use is called an object line. Object lines represent the edges of the object we're drawing. Any place on the drawing that there is a corner or edge is showed using these lines. Object lines are bold, clear, and always drawn using a straight edge. When it's time to dimension the object, the object lines are almost always the ones the dimensions are referring to. Our next line type is called a hidden line. Hidden lines are light, dotted lines that show edges of the object which are not directly visible in an orthographic view. Take a look at this example. From the right side, we can see very little information about the object. But if I have hidden lines, it's as if I have x-ray vision and I can see the edges of the notch and the hole that I couldn't see before. Hidden lines are useful, but we can't dimension to them. Next up are center lines. Center lines show up whenever we have a hole in the object we're drawing. They're a little lighter than object lines and are basically a straight line with a single dash in the middle of it. When we're looking at a hole straight on, we see two of these lines crossing like this. And when we view the hole from the side, a single center line runs down the center of the hole, letting us know that this is a hole and not a notch or a rectangle or something. When it's time to dimension and we need to show where a hole is placed on a drawing, we show dimensions to the center lines like this. This lets us know where the hole should be placed in relation to a corner of the object. Last but not least are construction lines. Construction lines are not actually part of our object. We use them to help us make the drawing accurately. Think of them like scaffolding on a skyscraper. It's not actually part of the building, and when the building is complete, the scaffolding will be taken down. We draw construction lines super lightly because we know that we will need to erase them when we're done with them. These aren't the only types of lines used in technical drawing, but they will get you started. After a little practice reading and creating drawings, you'll be able to read different types of lines just as easily as you can read a book.